my spare time, I like to go out and uh, wander the hills and collect shed antlers. So anybody doesn't know, that's these things right here. Um, they fall off deer and elk every year, and then you go pick them up. And they're actually worth a good little bit of money. Um, what I've realized, though, is just scrolling through Etsy, looking for ideas of things to build with them, people actually can sell their crafts with antlers for quite a bit of money. And um, rather than just selling these by the pound, I figure, hey, you know, why not start making stuff out of them and see if I can make a little more off the antlers I find. Because um, sometimes you put a full day's worth into finding antlers, and you might just find one little antler like this. And you hate to go and sell this for four dollars after you just hiked 20 miles to find it. Um, yeah, so I'm going to see what else I can make with the antlers to make a little more money. Just looking through Etsy, I found these antler candle holders. That seemed like a fairly simple project to do. And uh, the people that have been making them, they seem to, they've been listing them for quite a bit of money. So it kind of piqued my interest in this project. All right, I just got to my wife's favorite store. Actually, it's her least favorite because it's probably where I spend the most money recently. Um, but let's go inside and buy the supplies we need to make these antler candle holders and maybe a couple extra tools. We'll see. I'm not planning to buy anything, but if someone's calling my name or it's on sale, I might have to buy it. I'll justify it to the wife later. Unfortunately, I only bought what I went into the store for, which is a first. So something that's really important when doing crafts like this is uh, keeping tra track of your expenses. Um, so far, we're into it about a $4 antler is what it's costing us. Um, and I just spent $2.50 on the, the bolt and the little piece we're going to be attaching to the top of the antler candle holder. Um, so we're about $6.50 into it. And it's kind of just keeping track of these little things like this that let it, lets me know how much I need to list um, these crafts for when I sell them. And then uh, also it's kind of like, if, you know, craft might be really fun to do, but if it doesn't make much money, um, there's not really a long-term future of making that craft. All right, so I selected this little three-point brown mule deer shed out of the pile just because it looks like one that'll be good for this project. Um, like I said before, you could sell these antlers for poundage, and mule deer sheds like this usually go for about $12 a pound. And uh, this antler here is less, definitely less than half a pound, so it's probably only about a $4 shed that I'm using here. After selecting what antler I wanted to use for this project, I then took a piece of black walnut limb that I ran through the bandsaw to create these wood cookies. And I figured these would be good to rest the candles on. To get a better feel for what the end project might look like, I took the wood cookie and placed it over several spots in the antler to see where it would look best. So now it's time to drill the hole in the antler. So here you want to be careful and not drill a hole all the way through the antler but you also want it deep enough that whatever you glue in there is going to have plenty of antler to grip to. Next, I took the bolt that I bought from the store and I wanted to cut off most of the threads. I ended up leaving about a centimeter of thread so that my brad hole T nut had something to screw onto. Next, I took my brad hole T nut and I made sure that the thread still worked. And lastly, I wanted to cut the head of the bolt off so that I could shorten the piece to whatever length I wanted. Now that we've got this little connector piece all assembled, it's time to put it in the antler and make sure it's at the right height. Yep, looks good to me.
Now we need to decide which side of the wood cookie looks best that we're going to have on top. Whatever side's going to be on the bottom, we then want to take the brad hole tea nut and place it on top and mark a spot to drill some pilot holes. Now that we have the pilot holes drilled, we can proceed to screw on the brad hole tea nut to the wood cookie. It's time to do one last check before we glue the candle stand in place. To secure the stand of the antler, I decided to go with a thick CA glue. I chose CA glue because it can cure in up to 15 seconds with the activator. A quick spray of polyurethane will protect the cookie and enhance the color. All we have left to do now is to put it all together and let the polyurethane finish dry. It's important during these steps not to let the polyurethane hit any other surface as it can collect dust. Third time's the charm. And that is how you turn a $4 antler into a $25 candle holder. Thanks for watching.